Hello and welcome to this installment on my, well, video log or vlog of my uh, resume of my life or something. I forgot what the heck. It's, I'm telling you, I'm doing this on a Sunday night. <laughs> I, I got this big stack of records to go through. I've done three other ones where I, I bought 120, you know, 140 records from a gentleman that I um, do business with, with toys and trains and stuff like that. And... I I got one more section of record. I didn't believe it's it's at least forty or fifty records. I'm going through these signals, and I haven't played them yet or anything. So, um, if you saw the first, it's like I haven't put all the three videos. This is the last of the third video uh, of the four videos. I decided to put this in four parts. There's so many records, and I figured if I go through them all, I just go nuts. So, serve. I'm cleaning up some loose ends. I haven't done a blog. Uh, I think it did those, what did I do, November I did those? You know, shortly after I got the record, I did the first three. I just plowed them out as soon as I got them. Then holidays came and I got busy on other stuff. So we're going to continue. Okay, so um, I'm zooming in and out here a little bit. Yeah, it's fuzzy. I hate, I'm using a tablet tonight. And sometimes it doesn't come out good. But this has, what is it, 10? Yeah, it has like a 10. On it, so I'm gonna say here. Okay, so we got Millie Jackson. Ask me what you want. Is this? I just can't stand it. Which I think is the bigger. Is I gotta pull up for, for real fast here. Is that the A side? B, A. So ask me what you want is the A side. Why? It says so right there. A side. Stupid. So 1972, Millie Jackson. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, Ronnie Dove, country music. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, back from Baltimore. Man, this is not. This is blurry. I don't know. Well, we're just gonna go through these things. So, Diamond Records. So, Ronnie Dove, Country. Um, there you go. Dancing My Heart. I can't read it through the um the um screen because it just. It's just so blurry. I don't understand it. Okay, it's a Mercury. Whew, red label Mercury. This is a be newer. Hello, I am did you wow, why is this doing this? Stop auto focusing. Uh I, okay, this is a George Strait. Okay. No, George Kent. Okay, both sides are George Kent. So this is this I can't read it. Um I think that's an our country record i'm not i'm not familiar with george kent i wish i was okay i'm going to get married that's a b that's an a side okay that's an a side and what's the b side on it lou christie i'm gonna make you mine okay this would be why is this thing doing that it's it's I'm trying to stop blur it's blurry as all hell i'm gonna pop like that i'm gonna make you mine this is going to focus. There you go. Um, yeah. This is going to be fun. So this is the A side of Buddha. That's actually a good song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get married. So the, the Twana Herbert is his um, long-term lo lover. I never thought they ever got engaged. She was uh, psychic or something like that. It was wacky because he... Oop. The box that came through just tipped over. Okay, uh, she was a she was a psychic. I mean, she was giving him all sorts of advice, information, reading his palms, doing cards, and she pretty much um, from from um, I'm going to make you mine era onward. She was making all the decisions, business decisions, according to a lot of reports. So uh, I don't know if she's. I don't think. I, I gotta figure it's, it's a she was with him forever, it seems like. Okay. Um gone, gone, gone. Time of James and Shinell's roulette. Mm, so these are all the B sides are all I'm showing here. We'll think we're alone now. So this is gonna be this will be a fun one to play. The other one's gonna be pretty fun too. Ah, uh, Vic Dana. Sad Day Songs. That's a B side, I betcha, because it's gonna be If I ever knew your name. So we actually play this onto the um Onto the, onto the beautiful music. I do have Vic Dana. I don't know if I have that one, but we'll see if that one will find. Uh, Dream a little dream of me. Whoops, this is going to be um, 
Wayne King and the Orchestra. So that's going to be actually um, probably a beautiful music um, song. Harlem Nocturne. It's, that's going to be interesting. That's cool. It's not a DECA. I always, always like the DECA label. Okay, so Joanne Kill. A girl, I am the girl from Wolverine Mountain. So that was a... I think this is the answer song. That's an amp and Sloppy Joe. So I think this is this, yeah. So this Joanne Campbell, and this is going to be um, the the response song to uh, Wolverine Mountain. I forgot who the heck wrote it. I can't think of the top of my head. So, um, okay. So this is a capital um, catch to win. Trying to get that. Who wrote that one? Oh, Donovan. Duh. <laughs> What's it? Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, well, that's going to be kind of cool. Yeah, I actually like that one. I, yeah, that's going to be banged up beyond belief. KC and such as it. It's the same old song. Their version of it, which actually I've heard that one before. And let's go party. It's going to be a disco one. But um, this side right here, it's the same. It is the same old song. Yeah, their version is actually pretty good. It's it's, it's in their style. And it's banged up beyond belief because these are all playable condition. Okay, back to back hits. This is one of those release ones. So, Deliverance, Dueling Banjos. <laughs> this is going to be sound like bad because it's so banged up. Um, and this is what? Freight Train? Ruben's Train. That's from Deliverance 2. So, Low Eric. Um, ew. I don't know if that's going to play or not, but that's going to be fun. Okay, so this is called Juke. I never saw a label like that. So, what does it say? TD Bo Boogie Woogie. Piano Instrumental. That's going to be an interesting one to play. That may be, that may be a blog entry. Uh, Love by Birdland. Uh, who wrote that one? Oh, George Searing. Okay. So, this is... Okay, this is going to be definitely going to be piano. So, this be jazz piano sort of thing. So, G George Searing is a blind uh, pianist, jazz pianist. He's from England. Um, he's, I got a few of his records. I don't know if they're going to be good enough for the uh, beautiful music, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, no, really well known. Oh, very competent. Very, very competent. Very technical piano player, but you know, he's actually pretty good. And this thing keeps blurring out. This is not going to be a great video, but we'll just continue because it's mainly me talking. The Faye Bar Mute Record Company, Burbank. Okay. So this is a Jack to a King, Dan Miller. This is actually a hit. If it stays put, flip it around, uh, pray to broken heart. So that's actually good. Uh, actually, uh, from a Jack to a Queen, I think there's an answer song to that one. I don't, I can't remember, but that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this one, oh, good lord, these things are these things are falling down. A wooden heart, Bobby Venton. That's a good record right there. This is ABC era, so this is after. Epic record. So what does it say? 75? 75. Okay. So Bob Venton was on Epic since his beginning. I think they signed him out of um out of um Pennsylvania there too. So Wind Heart, that was a that was a small hit for him. And the flip side, it's a good record that's stuck. <laughs> I did want to do Uh what is it? Okay, so the A side. Polka Pose. Okay, Bobby. Polish all the way. We know that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. Most Beautiful Girl in the World. Try Rich. That's a good record. It's not going to be on a beautiful site, but it's pretty good. And Feel Like Going Home. That would be a B-side in that case. Oof. These are rough. But it's kind of fun. Okay. A little bit of Soul by Music Explosion. There we go. Mansfield, Ohio. Lori Records. Cats and Cassins. Super K Production. Oops, on the other side. I see light. Who wrote that one? Again, I can't read it. Okay. Hmm. That's gotta be that's gotta be an interesting one. So let's see the light. Because that one. I forgot someone else did that one. I remember that one. Okay. 
Oh, these things are so pretty, too. Oh, this is going to be so nasty. Oh, these things will be so nasty. Okay, so he called me Bay. That's Bobby Martin. That's going to be kind of interesting. And the other side is Harper Valley PTA with her singing it. So it's going to be kind of, as it's, it's going to be kind of interesting on that one. I uh, don't think hers was the first one. I think Tom T. Hall did it with uh, I'm Coming Home. Tom Jones. The Lonely One, Tom Jones. I think these were these are two better of his records, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It's on Parrot. It's messed up. I hate this. This is blurry as all hell. Jerry Vale, Woman of the World. On the other side is the reissue to If I Could Write You a Song, Jerry Vale. What year is this? I could write you a song. It's actually Neil Sedaka. That's kind of cool. And that's a Albert Hammond um, Hazelwood composition. Except this, and my thing is just awful. Oh, 74, he did that. But that should be a reissue. Hmm. Don't know. Okay, Shelly West. Uh, now there's you. Is it 84? 84 in that one. Trying to who, okay, that's country. Jelly Bloss is country. That's right. Uh, now there's you. Hmm. It's a promo, too, so that's kind of interesting. It's a nasty shape. Okay. This old heart of mine, Rod Stewart. This is going to be a fun one to play. This, is a ju this has to be a jukebox one. It says 75. I think he did one. This old heart of mine. He must have did... Is this a B? What's the other side? Still love you. Okay. It's five minutes. Hmm. Is it a 45? Rod Stewart. This would harm my... He didn't do... Hmm. Yeah, because he did it with... um. <sighs> yeah, the Isleys. Yeah, he had Isley sing background. We'll see about that one. Okay, there's a tavern in town. Is it a two? Is it a two-parter? I can't. Again, I can't read it. Show me the way to go. Okay, this is Mitch Miller. Ugh, an older, 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 older one. That old gang of mine. So that's another Mitch Miller. That's cool. Beat up beyond belief. This is Robert Cannon. Cameron. Oh. At the A side, there you go. I'll get you by as long as I have you. It's, that'd be interesting. Playing this one is My Side Out Love. I'm trying to figure which was the A side, which is the B side. I can't figure it out. There are two. Nope. That's going to be six, five, five. So this is the A side right here. Okay, this has five on it. Lower number always has five on it. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, Gordy. So this is a Motown. Oh, boy. I can't even read it. Um, Temptations. Uh, was it? What's... Oh, Masterpiece. Okay. Um, okay, Masterpiece Instrumental on that side. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is this going to be awful, awful. I can't read that one. Uh, that's the vocal side of it. So that was a hit for Temptations Masterpiece. Top 40 at least. I think it was a bigger RB hit. Okay, this is an Echo. Newer Echo record. Cars. Gary Newman. Bum, bum, there in my car. Still a freak. So this is metal. This is the second side. This is the back side. I know he didn't really care for um, making singles, so... It'd be kind of interesting how they arrange it. Okay, this is Two Main Memories. And this thing's auto-focusing like there's no tomorrow. Um, Two Main Memories. I should say Four Seasons. Okay, that's a B-side. And is that a whole? That's a whole set. That's a reduction. That's a clearance bin. Anytime there's a hole drilled out into the record, it's a clearance bin. And this is working my way back to you. So, that's a good song. That's a really nice song. They did a good job on working my way back to you. Um, Al Martino. That's the way it's going to be. Hmm. That may be into the beautiful side. Painted, tainted roses. Al Martino's the second. Um, 
I consider him a second tier. Tony Bennett's a second tier because like Frank Sinatra, Perry Como were first tier. I'm going to boil down to the singers of the 50s and 60s. El Martino was in the second tier because he really didn't have, didn't really take off. And uh, God, Godfather helped him out a lot. And that was, that was kind of cool that Godfather helped out. Yeah, because Andy Williams would be first tier, you know. I mean, you got your first tier guys, the big guys, you know. Um, at that time, even Sadak and, and, and Anka, they would be all first, I would consider them first tier, um, musicians or singers in that era. So, El Martino would be second tier. Okay, this is Barb Fairchild. Of all the female singers, you make me feel like a song, because this is country, I think. Uh, Teddy Bear song. This is actually, this is the one she was actually most notable for. For, I gotta double check this real quick. Um, 87. Teddy Bear song. I think she's more noted for that one. It's a weird song, but um, you make me feel like, oh, good lord, singing a song. I think those are big ones for her. That's kind of cool. Okay. We Five, you were on my mind. I got that on CD. We're going to put that into the uh, rotation, at least their first record. And that is Sylvia Flicker of Ian and Sylvia. So that is actually a big deal. And they had the biggest hit. Ian um, and Sylvia had the second biggest hit. And Small World, which I actually like the um, Small World. They do a good job with Small World. It's in that soft, folky sort of sound. So it's kind of cool. And it was one of the AM Records really first um, established. They found them. And they um, promoted them. So I think it's actually one of uh, A&M's first big, 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 big signings of something they found. Okay, so this is bred by Bobby Hebb. Of course, he does Sonny. I think this is on that. Yep, Sonny's the first side. So it's a later Phillips. Yep. Bobby Hebb, that's a good one. See how well that held up. Okay, this is Dalton. This is going to be more Vic Dana. So... Bring a little sunshine to my heart. I think I have that one. And that's all. Let me put that saw. If this actually sounds pretty good, it may be into the beautiful. But, eh. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, no broken ones. Smashes, all time smashes. Patches by Dickie Lee. Harat. I saw Linda yesterday, so these are two of his bigger hits. So that's on Smash Records. Um, this is uh, old, old. Um, so this is from um, Tapestry, so far away. Okay, what's on the second side? Smack Water Jack. Well, she's noted for both of them. So it's a Carol King. Both Carol King. What does it say on it? Okay, nah, it just says whoever owned it. Dick Feller. Nope, that's another country. And this is boring so bad. It's driving really insane here. Make it a best out bad situation. That's the A side because this is A up there. What we got here. Um, She's taking a gentle lover. God, that's got to be so much country. <laughs> I'm just I'm not a big thing. Okay, Silver Bells by uh, El Martino. That's got to be interesting. Never heard that version before. And you're all I want for Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be an interesting one to put in for the Christmas thing if it comes out pretty good. Um. Oh God, is this Stevie Wonder was a something extra? No, I got. I got to take it out of the pile here. Oh, drop it. Um. Okay, so this is a double sided one. And I can't see it. So all day suckers and easy going evening, which is both uh, Tom, um, Stevie Wonder composition on side two. First side was two songs, um, Saturn Ab Ebony Eyes. Okay, so this must be they must have tried to promote these or something. I and they can't I can't read them. That's that's sort of interesting. Um, One Love, One Heartache, the Billy Vaughn may have that one. Let's see what does it say that. Nope. 
Oh, what does it say? Chapel by the Sea. I think. Yeah, I don't know if I got that one or not. I, don't, I gotta double check it out. Um, okay, this is Bobby Bear, and it's in Jordanaires, a Restless Win. Mm, that's gonna be interesting. Is that an A side? That's on the B side. A side is Daddy What If, and that's gonna be Bobby Bear. Nice country. I think it's gonna be country. Oh, oh, actually, ooh, that'll be a good one. Shell Silverstein. I should just do. That's a good idea. Songs of Shell Silverstein. Just be that song and everything done by um, uh, Doctor Hook. <laughs> be a very short podcast, but be interesting. Uh, and we small hours. So okay, so this is okay. So the we small hours actually was released as an LP, I think. Uh, let me check this out real quick here. What year does it say? Doesn't say. So okay, so here's so these so these were in the Weed Small Hours was an LP it was a set of um of uh, seventy eights initially. I think it migrated into thirty three and third long plays as well as. Uh, booklet of the uh, 45 so if you had a 45 changer you could actually stack all these records up and it has the album number right there 581 so you, what you could do is you could stack them in order it'll have a start with the lowest number will be your first and the highest number will be your last you just stack them up change them and this would be into um um an album booklet so and the problem is um yeah, these are hard to come by just because they didn't sell a lot of 45s. They sell more than 78. So it's sort of rare, but same time, it isn't rare. And yeah, it's also missing a bunch of stuff. Okay, so oh. so we got a little Come All Ye Faithful, Bing Crosby as a 45. That's kind of cool. The other side, Silver Knight done by Bing Crosby. That's going to be kind of fun. It's dirty as all hell. Oh, we'll see here. When do you speak to an angel? Eddie Fisher. This is probably going to be bopping up if it's anything decent. And flipping around here. Okay, so this one is downhearted. So I think that's 37, 39. So, yeah, how do you speak to an angel? So this is actually, I think this was a hit for him at that time. Hugo Winter Halter and his orchestra on that one. Um, this is the Nat King Co Trio. So again, this is the exact same thing. So it was a booklet of 45s. And that's why I picked this up because it had a bunch of these. And again, these are just hard to come by. And without the cases and everything. So it's only a paper moon body. So those this one maybe be converted over. Because I think those are these are all good songs. I think these are going to be all very good songs for Nat King Cole. That's kind of cool. And that's from the 50s, really. I mean, okay. So this one. Oh, man. Is this says Paul Weston? Yeah, this is Paul Weston. So this is in the same era, same as those Capital ones. So Columbia, you just box these into, whoops, this is a collection of 45s. So, and you just play them. And, and they're sort of long play. So you've got five minutes aside. Sort of thing. That's kind of cool. Now this one is Christmas or church. This is another Paul West, and so this is when he was on Capo. I think he bopped around a few. So it's tender in September and rain. That's gonna be kind of cool to try put on. Yeah, I feel the warp already. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel warp into it so bad. Uh, we'll see if it works or not. Here we go. I covered waterfront. And where or when. So that would be kind of interesting to see if that comes out. If I, I feel a weird groove into it. I feel a weird little wimp into it. So I think this is the exact same thing. Is this music for the fireside? No, Serenity. And this is uh, Walter Schumann. And come rain or come shine, and um, last night, there you go. Why couldn't it last last night? That's a good, that's a standard. 
uh, see your face before me and tenderly. Tenderly is another one. So that'd be kind of interesting to put into the, um, um, beautiful music pile. Okay, here's another deck. Uh, this is another reason why I picked up. We were just thinking about doing the, the music, um, internet. Was it Sammy? This is Sammy. So I'll write up me. Again, this is one of these catalog things. This is early Sammy. Um, tenderly and happy. I think so I got like a thousand things of tenderly. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, Babbles, Bangles, and Beats. Kirby Stone 4. That's going to be kind of... Uh, that's going to be interesting. And the flip side of it. Again, this is one of these where you put it on. Yeah. Okay. My World. Rascals. That's a B side. An A side. I think this is grooving. Nope. Oh, people gotta be free. Okay. So why? Maybe not. I'm just looking at this. Is this a re-release? Okay. So I think this is... So I think this is... A, Pre before American Sweet because it doesn't say from a record and it says from a record on there and my world I think was an earlier record from the last one they just put as a b-side on that one that one oh the last one's broken gee whiz Bobby Vinton just as I match ever you that'd be a b-side I think a side is um another memory no I don't think this is a big 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 Bobby Vinton but you know it'd be kind of cool it's Bobby um, the telephone call, Tina and Daddy. That's a not, I think that's a country novelty. Yeah, so this is Billy Sh um, Shrell and Chip Taylor song. And I think it's a novelty and no charge. I think, again, that's another, that's an, that's an interesting one. That's definitely a country one. Okay, this one is... Thunder in my heart, Lou Sayre. I think this is uh, Tall Glasses. I think this is right. No. What is this one? Give me the girl. Get the girl. No, no. Is that A-side? Do -do 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 do So Tom Snow did that one, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Thunder in my heart. Uh, Thunder in my heart would be, I think it would be the A-side. Thunder in my heart. That's very cool. Okay, this is a Pickwick Children's. No comment on children's records. I got a bunch of them. Oh, they got the Sesame Street theme. That's got to be interesting. Oh. Sweet, sweet, sweet Loretta DeFranco family from St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. And Heart Beats a Love Beat. I do have this one on to it. And Tony Fran. D. Francis Franco De Franco was going to be the next big thing, like an Osman. Never happened. It's just amazing what a record actually scratched at. They're propped up by Tiger Beat magazine. <laughs> that was a cool thing. That baby, I may put that as a teen thing. Because I got the teen singer thingy going on as, as an idea popped around. I think about gathering it. I forgot. Tony DeFranco. That would be an interesting story because it was a family band it was propped up by um T tiger beat and they they had um just all the uh, publications that tiger beat and their fa and the family publications that one publisher had had all the um the franco the tony defranco as being big next big thing and they produced they do a lot of buffalo shows back then okay this is i can hear oh god the damn things i'm reading through the the screen I can hear you calling. Okay, that's from Naturally. Enjoy the world. No comment right now. I'll, I'll hold off on that one. Joy to the World actually is a recovered from a TV show. Actually, there's a couple of them. That's, that's another one, too. Is there... Um, popular music was trying to be a big thing into rock music. Or... Uh, Saturday morning cartoon shows and TV specials and stuff like that. I mean, you think about Snoopy sort of 
got going with putting you know popular music into um actually just jazz music you know with a, with a fairly well known name at the time playing um yeah and there were and in the 60s a big thing um there's a few episodes of scooby doo where there's a few um oh, i want to say um is it Tony Wine? Tony Wine and uh, Barry Mann songs that uh, were um, were put in there, and and you know, and, and it was done with the same people that did the Archies, which would be um, uh, was it Tony Wine? Not say it was Carol Barry Sarah was in there. I know Andy Kim was. Barry Mann was in it. Oh, good lord! And, and it was a big deal. Um, that um, Joy to World was um hot axed and axed and um had um it was writing music and also too um uh, chickaboon 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 was a another one that was meant to be on to a, a like a uh teenage uh teenage cartoon type show and it and it never you know uh picked up so the um the person that wrote it he picked up and and did uh, as a daddy do drop so that was that sort of like a, it was two failures and i just know that um scooby-doo had three or four songs that they threw in and they were done in the archie sort of format and everything and that they were um trying to make um trying to push it out as singles and never went anywhere i don't even think they were making they're just demos that they, they threw in as incidental music into the show so yeah i mean it's it was sort of weird that the 70s had some some interesting stuff with it and and that is joy to world is one that was um um uh um one for television special television television special okay so this is uh swahili serenade by bobby v and come back when you grow up girl so um yeah that's about uh, young love and i think i was been sort of interested in actually running sort of something like that into um into um a pod or uh, into a podcast but i don't know if i want to um get that going or not or want to um you know uh, tackle that one okay it's the last one it's a freddie hart oh my god it went blurry on me i don't love you just don't um like you okay i think that was a big freddy heart thing i think that's it says 520302 so okay the warm side of your a side right there and it does this has the promotion um yeah so freddy hard and heartbeats why is it not spelled the same as record uh, his name but um be interesting so i think that's a i think that's also um a country one but we'll We'll, we'll we'll play these a little later on. We'll probably do a podcast on them. So yeah, so that's all these singles. So there's four episodes of this. I gotta find them. I gotta put them up. I gotta put them up in order. Um. So if you like, well, I'll just promote everything right now. So um, let me instead of having a black screen, let me yeah, put one of those things. I'll put the Freddie Hart thing back up there or. Yeah, let's put the Franco family. I I like the Franco family over Freddie Hart right now. Okay, so um, the website is uh, www dot um, mrp mr p beautiful music or excuse me beautiful radio dot com, and that is for the uh, podcasts uh, entries into the blog, the blog and the uh, radio station link up. Um, uh, the blog is on um, uh, audio.com. Um, what else I got going on too? So yeah, you can find it. Um, uh, with what I got here. Website is www.mrpbeautifulradio.com. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to know what I'm listening to, where I feel like posting. Uh, that's at Mr. P. Beautiful, MRP Beautiful, on, um, Twitter, and, uh, Facebook is the Mr. P, well, Miss P. Beautiful, uh, music, uh, page, that's what that is, so, and, and that's for just links of just the podcast, and everything, podcasts are all 
promoted onto the uh, website, the um, Twitter feed, and the Facebook uh, feed, which is sort of interesting. Again, and um, and again, we're uh, doing the podcast or just this type of stuff. Like, okay, Tony Franco, teen uh, uh, teen music stars. You know, I mean, an FHL was a teen music star with Tall Paul. I mean, well. We'll we'll tackle that. I mean, yeah, I may make that a super size one. I I keep them about thirty minutes. I can go about an hour with that and be just have some interesting stuff. Um, yeah. Again, um, if you like beautiful music, music, uh, popular music, um, easy listening popular music from nineteen fifties, sixties, and seventies. Um, yeah. So it's MRP Beautiful Radio dot com. Again, that's mrp beautifulradio.com and i could promote it now because anything music i could promote my thing on through my facebook again if you like uh, facebook anything you um like i show on facebook the mile trains uh, the crap of the apples uh, me digging holes and me fixing things tearing apart stuff say hey look at this you know Share my collections. Um, like and subscribe like normal. Don't need to make comments. I don't recommend. I don't read comments. I mean, I, I look at them and it's like, oh, that's nice, and just go forward. I don't do anything with comments. So, um, this is the last one of this for a while. I think I got a few other uh, podcasts I want to do. And uh, I'll thank you very much for um, joining me tonight uh, today for um, look at some LP. Uh, seven singles i picked up we'll probably start playing a few of these shortly probably through the um uh, podcast it'd be kind of cool put some of these through the podcast um uh, you know some are probably gonna be on to download onto the radio site which is onto the radio station would be wicked cool so um i'm going along here i'm jamming it's late um again mrp beautiful radio.com to listen to my uh, internet radio station and um goodbye and thank you very much for um, joining me today <laughs>